सर वी आर लाइव हेलो मुकुल जी सर हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज तरुण आई एम हियर टू टॉक अबाउट अविष्कार लाइक 2022 and uh, it's been almost 2 years that we actually did this competition uh, in a physical world so 2020 we had a virtual competition 2021 we never had any competition so very happy to welcome you back again uh, in the uh, 2020 uh, version of avishkar league uh, before i get started i want to uh, you know welcome each one of you anvi uh, mukul vivek and many other participants who are there um, before i talk more about uh, my version of the league i am facing a little bit of a technical difficulty so i'll ask mukul to get initiated and talk about uh, uh, you know uh, the avishkar makeathon uh, but before that avishkar league 2022 uh, is a stage is a two stage competition stage 1 is where we will have the virtual submissions and stage 2 is where there will be an actual physical competition uh, and there are going to be two parts of this competition the first one of course is uh, irc league the robotics competition which is sort of a more close competition where there are going to be two levels this time middle and junior one level and senior is the other level uh, you will be making robots out of avishkar kits to solve various problem statements and for the avishkar makeathon which is more of an open competition that mukul is going to talk about i might you know log out for a minute and come back again because i'm facing some technical glitch i'll be joining back again no thank you hello everyone welcome you all if you remember in the last webinar we learned more about what is avishkar league and what are the two competition tracks in it the first one was the irc league and the second one was avishkar makeathon i talked about avishkar league and avishkar make irc league and avishkar makeathon uh, how uh, in detail uh, la, uh, at the last time and today what we are going to learn is we are going to learn about what are the problem statements of avishkar makeathon what are the problem statements of irc league and how we can uh, decode it okay so if i'm if i tell you about avishkar makeathon avishkar makeathon is a competition of science and technology where students and innovators like you can learn from others and can inspired get inspired from others as well and can inspire other people by their projects so what you have to do is you have to create a project a working project it could be anything it could be a robot it could be an app it could be a website anything it's more of an open project open science a uh, competition where you can convert your idea convert your ideology convert your thinking of a product project into a working life prototype so you have to present something related to a theme which is again i will tell you about more in, uh, about that what are the themes and how it is related to the un uh, united nations sustainable development goal but what you have to do is if i sum it up in one line you have to create a working project which can actually help a theme or a cause which can help you to solve a cause and you have to make it working and present it to everyone so that is about avishkar makeathon back to you sir thank you very much mukul now my technical glitches are over and uh, i wanted to mention one fact which is so clear and which is so evident by everyone who has attended this kind of a program in the past uh, avishkar league ends up inviting or attracting the best and the biggest makers of india not only india from people from outside of india as well to this competition and you don't be of what the avishkar league actually looked like in its full glory i am hoping you able to see my screen as well uh, i think yes. yes so let me very quickly start off with you know what the avishkar league looked like almost two years back and what is the kind of excitement we are trying to bring you back to Uh, 
Mukul, is there a problem with the screen sharing? Yes, sir. Currently, your uh, folder screen is present. Oh, so okay. have... Let me let me share my screen again. Yes. You know, uh, I think this time around I am sharing the right screen. Can you see the screen now? Yes, sir. We can see. I hope uh, no more technical glitches from my side, uh, but can't guarantee that. Uh, so while I talked about the uh, the how the excitement of the league looked like, uh, today we are here to talk specifically about the problem statements of the league. Um, Mukul will be talking about the Avishkar Makathon problem statement and I'll be talking about the IRC league problem statement. Both of them, there are, as I mentioned, I have two rounds, a virtual submission and the physical round. Physical round is scheduled for 6th and 7th of January at Thyagrat Stadium in Delhi. Uh, while I'll be talking about IRC League, Mukul is going to talk about the Avishkar Makathon. Mukul, uh, you can get started with talking about the problem statement for Avishkar Makathon. Okay, everyone. So, uh, I, I talk about Avishkar Makathon. There is a clear mentioning of themes. And if you can see my screen, is my screen visible to all? Okay. Yep. So as you can see, we have this document and it is already shared with you who all have participated in the competition, who all have registered for Avishka League. This, you might have received this document and it uh, sums up all the information about Avishka Mekathon. Now talking about the themes, if I talk about the themes, themes are, there are three, six themes which are totally related to the sustainable development goals of United Nations. United Nations have uh, launched 17 sustainable development goals out of which we have worked out six themes for you now what are those themes let us start with the themes so as you can see here are the names of those six themes so the first one is rekindling earth second one is smart healthcare third is agri tech fourth is empower the differently able fifth is combating the combating war and terrorism and sixth is tech for social well now let us understand deeply about all these six themes. What are those six themes and how you can create, what kind of project you can create in under these six themes. So let us start with the first one, which is rekindling earth. As the name suggests, rekindling earth means we have to somehow revive our earth, revive our planet earth by uh, from all the uh, wrongdoings, like there is pollution, there is climate change, there are several different kinds of uh, global problems which we need to solve. And now you can see the text over here. The rekindling earth problem statements goes towards protect, restore, and promote sustainable use of ecosystems, climate control techniques, sustainably manage forests, save wildlife, and pause biodiversity loss. That means you have to create something which relates to these uh, topics. It could be a climate control project. It could be something which will uh, promote sustainable growth and also say wildlife, it could be a robotic plantation, it could be a smart shelter for stray animals or maybe some smart device to track endangered animals. So this is the first thing. Now let us talk about the second one. The second is smart healthcare. Smart healthcare is basically a, a kind of infrastructure where your uh, devices which tracks your health, which keeps you healthy, which, uh, which, which basically monitors your health uh, parameters, uh, become smart and send the data over the internet or maybe uh, send you some alarm system, uh, inform you about uh, through an alarm system, something like that. So here, IoT connected devices like wearables, like a smartwatch, which tracks your health, which tracks your uh, uh, steps. It could be one project. And if you, uh, if you add more details into it, it could be a blood pressure checking machine. It could be 
blood oxygen oxygen uh, oximeter it could be oximeter it could be some sort of skin sensors some uh, monitoring patient monitoring tools uh, something like uh, ai based disease uh, detection uh, that take some pictures and can detect ai at a uh, and can detect a disease through ai at a very early stage or it could be a remote patient monitoring system so that a doctor is sitting somewhere else and he is men uh, is monitoring the patient from uh, his home or anywhere else okay uh, similarly all the examples are written over here and i hope you can get an idea from this now the next theme is agri tech what is agri tech agri tech is the use of technology in the field of agriculture we have to somehow improve the uh, technology of our uh, techniques of our of our agriculture schemes uh, in a sustainable manner so that it could improve the agriculture farming uh, it could be a digital farming it could be a smart drip irrigation it could be ai based crop monitoring hydroponics there are several different kind of examples you can take some help from the internet as well or you can go to the farm talk to a farmer uh, listen to their problems and you can maybe then try out to uh, create a solution for them okay now the next thing is empower the differently able as you all know we have uh, uh, a lot of disabled people around us and they are like very helpless they cannot they our devices are not created for them they cannot use the devices in a proper way they cannot enjoy the life to the fullest so somehow we have to help them and it's our duty to help them so we need to create something which can help a disabled person or a differently able person it could be something related to basic physical mobility it could be a visual aid uh, it could be a smart glass which can help a blind person to cross the road it could be anything it could be a speech language difficulty in using tools and computer smartphone you can so you can pick up any one problem out of this any disabled disability problem and create a solution for that it it should be a working solution but now the next thing is combating war and terrorism what is combating war and terrorism means uh, currently you have seen that uh, there are several war going around and going on and uh, we need to somehow safeguard ourselves it's our our duty and our army's duty to keep our keep ourselves safe so how we can help our army to be more technical and be more uh, tactical as well so what we can do is we can give them uh, we can provide them with spy robots we can help them with creating drones and missiles uh, or maybe any terrain vehicles or maybe any kind of defense machineries or any war safe house or any shelters which can safeguard the people in a situation of a war so this is related to uh, the war where you can help the army in uh, creating some weapons and also in defending uh, defense uh, uh, defense project projects also now the next one is tech for social responsibility awareness now uh, all of you have seen a lot of different examples that uh, we need to somehow uh, aware people of their basic responsibilities sometimes it could be as easy as uh, putting the putting the garbage into the dustbin how we can help how we can motivate people to do that more how we can motivate people to take the right step now this step this this uh, problem statement revolves around that this through this problem statement you have to create a project which actually motivates other people towards their social responsibility it could be smart dustbins smart if i give you an example of smart dustbin uh, it could be a dustbin in which if you throw the garbage it, it can give you a candy or something or maybe smart uh, some tokens of metro or maybe bus something like that uh, you could also make a smart community fridge for uh, homeless people you can also create uh, a smart community toilet sanitary spaces low cost public transport also electric based vehicle because it actually helps you uh, to uh, keep the environment safe okay so these are the six themes which actually uh, which are actually the themes of avishkar makeathon and these all relate to the sustainable development goals of avishkar makeathon now uh, over to tarun sir let now tarun sir will tell you what are the problem statements of irc and uh, what are the details of it. back to you sir so you are on mute thank you very much mukul uh, i am absolutely glad to hear about the fantastic themes that you have come up with vishkar makeathon i am confident that we will get tremendous entries not only in the virtual states 
but also some incredible show on the actual event day. Um, as I mentioned, uh, you know, uh, the robotics league is slightly different. Here you have to build robots and it's a very defined problem statement. So let me start off with the junior level problem statement once. Uh, I will share my screen and I'm hoping that I open up the right problem statement this time. Just give me one second, Mukul. I would like to. Okay. So can you see my problem statement, Mukul? Yes, sir. I can see. Okay, fantastic. By the way, you know, please let us know Anvi, who is managing the show behind the scenes. Uh, just uh, send us, uh, you know, send us various kinds of tests, you know, questions that people are having. Uh, Mukul, it would be great if you can check on, uh, you know, on the local messaging to see what are the questions. I don't have access to local messaging. So if you can check, you know, and you can ask those questions during the talk, it will be really helpful. Uh, let's get started with uh, the junior level problem statement. So like every time there has to be some sort of a, you know, inspiration with what the problem statement is supposed to do. So the inspiration this time, unfortunately, has been, you know, the COVID pandemic, which was there for last two years across the world. The junior level problem statement, by the way, junior level is applicable for grades three to eight. And the 9, 10, 11, 12 is senior level problem statement. The real world inspiration is, uh, you know, uh, how to tackle with the COVID by doing mass scale vaccination. So as, I, as everyone is aware, you know, there were uh, many different kinds of folks who helped us to, uh, you know, to, uh, who helped us negotiate this particular challenge. Uh, the first one, of course, were you know the security personnel and the, uh, the the security personnel, whether private security, public security, police, or military, who helped us out. The second kind of people who helped us out tremendously were the doctors and the nurses or the frontline workers, and the third kind of most vulnerable people uh, who needed vaccination was essentially the old people, the older generation people who are 60 years and above. Uh, and the four, fourth one, uh, maybe younger, were co people with comorbidities. So the idea is to go after the mass deployment of vaccination, and it has to be done across these three, four, these four segments of the society in the first go before they can be given to everyone else. So the first one, which is the military or the you know safety or the police or the security personnel. Uh, there are two crore vaccinations that had to be supplied to them. So there are going to be, you know, as I show the arena, there are going to be separate areas in which the vaccination can be done. The second, which is one crore of vaccination units were to be supplied to uh, the medical professionals. Then another 26 crore was to be supplied to the old age people. And uh, finally, the one crore remaining has to be supplied to people with comorbid comorbidities. Uh, uh, there is, you know, there is, uh, for the arena purposes and for, you know, for uh, arena purposes, uh, the pink vaccines are essentially one crore vaccine. So whenever you have to give one crore vaccines, you just take one of the blocks to the uh, people out there and five crore vaccines are essentially the orange blocks. Uh, so if I get to the arena, you will realize that the arena has two parts to it. I will show the arena on the actual problem statement as well, but this is how the arena looks. If you are able to look at my screen, um, I'm going to further make it bigger. Um, this part of the arena is where the automated robot has to work. This is where the production unit or the warehouse is. And the green part of the arena is where the actual public would be present. So you both in your uh, virtual problem statement, as well as the actual problem statement, you will be making two robots in the virtual problem statement. You will not be making any robots. The robots will be automatically made for you. This one will be working on uh, a code that is that what you will write. That's what you will write. This robot has to go forward, follow a black line and move these boxes into this arena. So basically the pink one is one crore 
uh, vaccine units and the orange one is fibril vaccine units. So as soon as this robot starts, it probably follows this black line in the center, take a left turn, drops, you know, basically pushes these two boxes into the center. Here, the other robot, which has an arm in place, comes in and takes the pink or the orange boxes uh, or pink or the orange boxes and uh, accordingly, you know, based on what the calculation should be, for instance, uh, the medical professionals need to be given one crore max vaccine. So it has to take the one crore that is pink box and drop it into this area. It is important that the pink box goes completely inside into this area. And do note that this is something that will uh, be done manually. So while on the right hand side, the robot is going to work as per a code, on the left hand side, the robot is going to be worked even in the virtual environment through your uh, keyboard application. And I'll talk about, you know, what the different uh, keywords or key, key strokes are for that to happen. Uh, so the idea is this robot is periodically going or in one go going, uh, you know, and drop and pushing all the boxes into the this region and this box and this robot actually uh, segregates and drops the boxes or pushes the boxes into individual locations or individual containment or individual uh, areas. Important thing to note is the boxes have to be completely inside this areas, the respective areas. And important to note that this is a manually operated robot and this is a fully automated robot. So that's the virtual, uh, you know, that is the problem statement for uh, for the junior level. So again, I'll just show the start and end area for this robot. If you come back here, this is the start slash end area for robot one. And this robot can be placed anywhere here. The other robot doesn't need to be at any specific position, but bot, and important to note, bot B cannot go into the warehouse area. If you do that, there'll be uh, uh, you know, you will have you will have some sort of a penalty for that. Um, I think I've talked about the track. I've talked about the warehouse. I've talked about the drop zones. Um, I think uh, you will have access to this problem statement on the website uh, as a part of the dashboard that you see. If not, just let us know. Just drop it uh, here in the window, and we will send a PDF version also to you for you to check out. Uh, now I will talk about uh, middle level problem statement. Mukul, is that okay? Yes, sir. We can move ahead. Okay. So I think I've talked about the junior level problem statement. I have not still talked about the scoring. I think that I will talk about once uh, you know once uh, Mukul has explained about the scoring and the judgment criteria for Avishkar make it out. So let me just now talk about the senior level problem statement. Uh, can you see my screen, Mukul? Yes, sir. We can see. We can see also. Okay. Fantastic. So junior level problem statement very quickly. Let me make sure it is uh, visible. Okay. Again, the real world inspiration here was also the time of pandemic. Here, the idea is, you know, you will have, uh, you know, again, we have categorized people into four categories, elderly, middle age, young adults and children. Each of them are represented by different color of boxes. So the uh, middle-aged is basically, uh, you know, repre is represented by uh, green and above. Uh, no, sorry, that's uh, senior citizen and elderly citizens are represented by red. Middle-aged is represented by blue and green is represented by children and yellow is re represented by young adults. All of these boxes are represented of people. So even in the actual competition or the virtual competition, there won't be any miniature people. There'll be actual boxes out there. Uh, so just to give you an idea of the arena. So this is how the arena looks like. So you have this big arena, which has two social bubbles areas. If you can notice, this is a slightly turquoise or blue color, or cyan, you can call it cyan as well. This is one social uh, bubble area. And the pink one is the other social purple area. Uh, the robot, uh, it's this, this problem statement has only one robot. So this robot has to start from here and then follow this black line or the yellow line or the blue lines, whatever combinations you can come up with. The idea is after the runtime of seven minutes, uh, and you, by the way, you do get some bonus points if you 
do the task earlier after the end of the stipulated time you have to ensure that every uh, you know within the social bubble everyone is at a distance of 6 feet from each other you can see 36 inches and 36 inches if you add those up that ends up becomes 72 inches which is nothing but 6 feet so you have to apply your own uh, algorithm or whatever logic you decide to run to ensure that there is a 6 feet distance between uh, between amongst everyone and uh, Again, you have to be cognizant that some of the people you will be able to keep it holding area one and some of the people you will be able to keep in holding area two. So you have, your robot has to start, maybe pick up one of the, or drag one of the boxes, not literally drag people, but one of the representative boxes and put it in some place or some holding area. So whether it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, respectively put them into those holding areas and make sure that the other one is kept. So for instance, if I start my robot and I don't do anything with one and two, then that's a problem because, uh, you know, person one is uh, at a le at a distance which is less than six feet from person two. So that's something that you have to care, you know, care about. Um, I think I've talked about, uh, you know, this, I will be absolutely happy to show you, uh, you know, a quick run of the arena. Mukul, is that okay if I show a quick piece of code and how it works? Sure, sir. We can do that. Just okay. only the. Huh? Sorry. Just only the working area. Just the, the working area. Okay. I uh, just a no no code. No code. Just one piece of code, Google, please. Okay. Okay. I mean, it's a complex code. So let let me show you some code, if not more. So I'm gonna stop sharing my screen. And uh, share my screen again so that. I have the virtual arena in place. Mukul, I have written four lines of code, but you know, since you say that, I will actually delete few lines of the code so that people are not. You can maximize the yes. No, I'm just going to show one or two lines of code, not yeah. more. Okay. All right. So let's get back to sharing my screen again. Okay. So I'm assuming you have done all the things and you have come to the this arena. Uh, you know, so you will notice that this arena has uh, uh, various things. Uh, first is of course the problem statement, which is uh, you know the link over here. Um, here you can see the actual arena. You can the way you can navigate in the arena is this is uh, a three D. This is basically the robot's view. So whatever you will see here will be the view of the robot, what robot is seeing. And this is an overall view. So I can I can expand this by just expanding this screen. So you can see the whole arena in the bigger format. So ideally the robot has to cross, you know, follow this black line, then either take a right turn or a left turn, get out one of the red boxes and drag and drop in different places. You can do that. I am going to write just two lines of code where I can show how this robot goes forward, 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 and takes a right turn here and then stops here. So those are two lines of code. Mukul, is that going to be too much to no, show? No, we can do that. Okay, so that's no cheating, right? Yes, that's no cheating. Fantastic. Um, so I am going to, you know, what I did was I dragged my program from control. Uh, that's why you see it here. Then I dragged the repeat while true here. So the repeat statement is there. Now what I'm going to do is I'll go to motor and I will say follow line color black. So black is a center line and till the, and stop at color. So I would want the robot to stop here. So I want the robot to go forward, 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 forward and stop when it sees two yellows on either sides. So I'm saying, okay, stop here. Then I will ask the robot to take a A right turn. So the right is basically a 90 degree right turn. And then I will make the robot to go straight till the follow time it follows the yellow line in the center and stop when it sees the blue line on either sides. So I've just copied, follow yellow, and stop at blue. That's it. So Mukul, can I try running this? Yes, sir. Okay, so I'm again going to make the screen bigger. You can see it bigger, right? Right. So let's see how it works. So the robot, as you can see, is following the black line. 
it keeps on following it and as soon as the yellow line comes on either sides the two sensors find it it takes a right turn goes straight and stands there so that's a basic function of the robot right now it is standing uh, let me show you from the different view this is the robot's view so let me reset and let me play this again so as you can see the robot is following the black line takes a left turn goes straight now takes a right turn did that now standing in front of the box so i've told you a little bit this is how it can be programmed of course you have to program whole of it and then once you have submitted you know by the way you can still submit uh, you can still save program in the middle and then once you are ready you feel that you know you're ready to submit your program you have to hit the submit button but do uh, keep in mind that the submission has to happen via the captain uh, my team has clearly communicated to me three things that you need to take note of first once the code is written by you you have to run it please calculate the time involved and then submit don't just submit in the first go if you submit in the first go that's the final submission we can't do anything about that now the second thing is in order to avoid any kind of confusions within the team only the captain of the team is able to save and submit other team members can try to make at their own level but they won't be able to save and submit unless they are the captains so i repeat again only the captains will be able to save and submit the programs now team members need to make sure they communicate and submit the right solution uh, ignore incognito or private browser window should not be used if you're using an incognito window or if you're using a private browser that might cause problem we have tested this for safari and uh, chrome but i would absolutely recommend using chrome because that's the browser where it has been uh, you know tested by multiple teams so i would not use some other browser for this finally once it has been submitted nothing can be changed you can't change anything if you have submitted the program so uh, that's pretty much uh, it from my end i will now pass on the baton to mukul to talk about avishkar makeathon mukul are there any irc leak specific questions from me if you were able to see yes sir there is one question uh, himaksh joshi has asked do we have to make robots from our own kits any time <laughs> yes you have to in stage 1 no in stage 1 is all about uh, you know virtual submission but in actual competition once the results for december 17th are out on december 17th and if your team has short has been shortlisted and is moving to stage 2 that's the time when you have to have uh, this this robot ready and okay thank you how about you mukul thank you sir okay everyone i guess you uh, already had your share of irc league and uh, you understand what are the problem statements now i would also request you to uh, write down your questions in the chat section if you have any question about irc league you can uh, simultaneously uh, write them down in the chat section so that we can answer them later uh, moving forward we will now talk about the scoring schematic the scoring uh, guidelines and the submission guidelines of avishkar makeathon how you can make your submission what type of submission is allowed how you need to uh, program it how need to how you need to uh, record the video and everything so i will just go on and share my screen yes uh, so as you can see uh, i am sharing this screen where you have uh, you can see there are different steps of submission how you can make the submission and it is written over here as a part of first stage of avishkar makeathon you will have to submit your project on avishkar website uh, you can get to the avishkar website you can come to your uh, competition dashboard and there you will see your submission uh, button i will also show you how it will look like so just give me one second so as you can see i am on avishkar website now let's go to avishkar makeathon and i have participated in this competition so it is showing me my competition so i click on it and if you can see i have participated in both of the competitions so i'll go to avishkar makeathon i'll click on stage 1 and over here you can see the submission button so 
when you want to submit your project, when you want to submit your entry for Avishkar Makeathon, you need to follow the same process. You need to come to Avishkar website. You need to go to your competition dashboard and there you will see your competition and the submission button. Now let's talk about how you need to make the submission. So as you can see, there, what you need to do is you need to create a project as we already told you, you need to create a project which will relate to the theme out of the out of one uh, out of six theme it should relate to one theme and that project uh, for that project you need to create a video you need to record a video now there are some points for that video how you will shoot it what parts of the video you need to add so as you can see there are four parts there are four things the first one is demo video of the project you need to show a working video of your project the second one is you need to add two images of your project. The first one from side view and the second one from the top view so that we can see it and we can clearly understand it. The judges can clearly understand it. Then you need to describe various parts of your project. Let's say your project has three parts or four parts or maybe 10 parts. You need to explain every part of your project. And last one is the how to steps of the project, how you have created this project. That can, this can be done in a brief. Uh, you don't need to be very specific, very detailed but you can just explain the process, how you have created this project. Now talking about the details of the video, first thing which you need to make sure, your video should be short in landscape mode. What is landscape mode? So if I'm holding this, uh, this is my wallet, this is called landscape. If I hold it like this, this is called portrait. So you have to hold it, hold your phone uh, horizontally, okay? And then the audio should be loud and clear, no background noise. The duration of the video should not be more than three minutes. Okay, so your video cannot go beyond three minutes. It should be under three minutes only. And the functioning of the prototype should be clearly visible. So everyone can see in your video, the judges can get an idea what is happening in your project, how your project is working. And also while you are explaining the project, please avoid background music. Okay, so these are the few uh, details, how you have to, these are the criteria, how, how you will, uh, create your video. Now we will talk about the submission points, but let us first uh, check what are the points for demo video. So we have to do four type of things, the demo video of the project, images, description, and how to steps. Let us talk more about demo project, demo video. So demo video is of 750 points. Now coming down here, you can see I have a table where we have all the points written. So you can see the first thing is the video should start with Avishkar League start screen that is there on your competition dashboard. Assets are provided onto your competition dashboard. What you have to do is when you are making your video, you need to add a four second screen, four second animation of Avishkar Makeathon. How you can download it? I will just show you. You have already seen this screen. This is the stage one screen. You go to your team area and over here in the news and updates, you can see stage one submission open. If you just click on it, it will uh, open a new link and then you can download. The download will start. Currently, it is downloading in my uh, download manager. But uh, yes, it will be visible to you. It will be downloaded into your browser or your Chrome. So you can download the asset from here. So what you need to do is you need to include that asset, the four-second asset, the four-second video into your uh, complete video. Then the next thing is the video should have a working demo. Your project should be working. You cannot uh, miss this part. It should be, and it should be in time limit of 26 to 30 seconds. The scoring for this is 100 points. The scoring for asset was 50 points. Then next, you have to explain uh, about your team. You have to introduce your team. What are your names? If there are more than one people, one person, you have to uh, introduce them by their name, age, school name, and state. Okay, so that the judges can know from where you are participating. And this you have to do it in 30 seconds only, and this will score you 50 points. Then next, you have to share your love for Avishkar Makeathon or Avishkar. You can just tell in 30 seconds, 20 to 30 seconds, why do you love participating in Avishkar Makeathon or Avishkar League and why do you love Avishkar, okay? And what, uh, how Avishkar will help you in learning the skills. This is again for 50 points. Then the next is recording of your working project. Explain what the project is how it relates to the theme and what problem will it solve. So basically now you have to explain, let's say you have created a smart dustbin. Now you have to explain, this is related to this theme, the tech for social awareness. 
and this is how it will help uh, under 40 or 45 to 90 seconds approx 90 seconds 85 seconds and this will score you 500 points and then at last you have to name your file the video file as avishkar league 2022 makeathon and in brackets your full name your team name actually you can write down your student name or your full name uh, team name as well then the total video length should be up to three minutes only and you will if all these criteria all the criteria is uh, okay all these points are met you will receive 750 points so this is 750 points for demo video but the total scoring is 2000 points now let us talk about rest of the points as we have already asked you you have to add two images of your project side view and top view which will score you 25 points each so for two images you will receive 50 points then if you'll describe the various part of your project then you will receive another 200 points if you have added how to steps of your project how you can how you have made it you will receive another 500 points and then if you have uh, promoted, so once you upload your project, once you upload your project, once you sub make the submission on Avishka platform, your project will be visible in the community project section. So if I go to community on Avishka website and go to projects, you can see uh, we all have uh, previous projects. Uh, we have the previous projects over here and innovator of the month. So similarly, when you start making your submission, when you will submit, you will see a filter over here and you will see your submission over here and you can see there are views, likes, and comments over here. Now, these likes is an important factor for you. This will help you to gain some extra point. And what are those extra points? If I come back to this section. So as you can see, we are giving you some bonus points for the promotion of your uh, video. So if you can get up to, 50 like, up to 50 likes, between 10 and 50 likes, you will receive 50 points. Between 50 and 100 likes, you will receive 100 points and so on and if you receive 500 bet uh, between 500 to 1000 points you will receive 500 points so the total scoring will come to 2000 points i hope this is clear to everyone if not you can uh, write down a comment okay uh, yes uh, so i have received one comment Himaksh Joshi, sir, can you please send all the important PDFs? Himaksh, all the important PDFs are already there on the competition page. So if you go on community page and on challenges, let's say you want to know more about Avishkar Makeathon, click over here, scroll down. You will see all the categories. You can see the problem statement. The PDF will load up here. This is the problem statement I was showing you. Okay. Similarly, if you want to know about the submission guidelines, go to team and submission guidelines and over here, you can see the video submission guidelines. Okay. So this is how you will uh, learn more about the submission guidelines. And if you want to uh, check, check them. So I hope this all is clear and uh, sir, which side of project, uh, side, which side view of my project, any side view, it could be right or left. Okay. Uh, okay, I guess these are the questions. Uh, moving forward, now we will talk about uh, the scoring scheme of IRC. So uh, over to you, Tarun, sir. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Mukul. I will also, I saw a lot of questions from people. Uh, so I'll try to address some of the questions before I talk about the scoring scheme. So first of all, there is Himak Joshi, Devesh, BG, Madhu Gera, and Yash Agarwal. Some of the, uh, in the audience, some of the Sohan Ghosh as well. Um, so Mukul, a question for you is that Sohan is asking is that, what is the uh, side view of my project in Makeathon? Okay. So let's consider this is your uh, project. This is a, this is my wallet. I'm considering this as a project. So side view could be this or this. That means you have to take any side. It Let's say it has four sides. You can take the front side, right side, left side or the back side. You can click a picture from any side. It should be clearly visible from any of the side. Plus the second image is the top view. So you have to create, click your picture from here. Okay. So one picture from the top and one picture from any side. 
So I think Sohan, if I could just add to what Mukul sir has mentioned here is, we are asking for different views of your project. We want to make sure that your project actually looks uh, in its complete glory. So it looks good in its complete glory. So best to give a top view of the project, side view of the project. Side view could be four of them. If it's a uh, squarish or cube kind of a thing, then you know one view from here, one view from back, one view from side and the other side. So four side views, one top view, maybe bottom view if it is applicable. I am not sure how many views does it allow to upload, but whatever the maximum number of views are, just try to utilize that completely. Uh, sir, another question is, I am not able to get assets on my dashboard. Uh, okay, so Ishan, I hope you are able, if you are not able to get assets, uh, first of all, you need to create the video only for Avishkar Makeathon. And if you have participated in IRC, you will not receive the assets. Okay. So if you are participating in Avishkar Makeathon, just click on my competition tab, a button, and then it will lead you to this competition dashboard. Now, if I go here, I can see this news and update section, and this is stage one submission open. So if you just click on this button, it will automatically download it. So I don't know if my, uh, I will just share another screen. Uh, yes. Uh, okay. So I don't think my downloader will help, uh, but yeah, if you click on this button, it can download, uh, it, it will automatically download your file. Okay. So just check this section, go to your competition dashboard and go to the section news and updates and click on the button and your asset will be downloaded. If not, you can, uh, anytime reach out to our support team, uh, just drop an email to support at avishkar.cc and your, uh, with your team name and your query will be resolved. I will write down this uh, email address in the chat section. So Mukul sir, what we will do is we will ensure that we create a separate link for assets in an Avishkar Makerthon. So if you are not able to get it there, you know, you can, as Mukul sir said, support at avishkar.cc. He will be writing it in the comment section. Uh, we will, you can write an email there and then they will guide you. Otherwise, in very in, in in a very short span of time, we'll get the assets to you as soon as possible. So uh, that said, I think uh, uh, Mukul sir, one more question for you is where do I go about submitting the video? So okay. I think you might want to showcase the the screen again. Again, remember. So first of all, uh, again. If you have participated in Avishkar Makeathon, then only you can make the video submission. So go to community. Let's say you have come to avishkar.cc. So I'll just go to avishkar.cc first. And from here, you can just lead to the community page. Community. Over here, you can find the Avishkar Makeathon and IRC league competition. So we are talking about Avishkar Makeathon. Click on it. Once you click on it, you will see this My Competition button if you have registered yourself. So just click on it. And then over here, you can see all of the competition in which you are participating. So just click on Avishkar Makeathon and click on stage one. As soon as you click on stage one, the screen will change and you will see these uh, courses, these free classes for you. I will also talk about these. And there is the submission button. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not the team captain of this uh, team. As you can see, the team captain is Rajiv Gaba. I'm not the team captain, I'm only a team member. So I cannot make the submission because it's a video submission. So I can, but I can see the button over here. I can lead others. I can tell my team captain that this is the section where I need to make the submission. If I just click on it, it will show you uh, project is already submitted because my team captain has already submitted the project. Okay. But this is where you will make the submission. If you are the captain of the team, if you are the captain of the team, this is what you will see. And after that, you will just, uh, uh see a pop-up where you can add your details about your project. 
So Mukul sir, maybe I can showcase uh, because I am the team captain for a breakathon team. So I'll just very quickly showcase, you know, how do you go for project submission on your screen? So I'm just sharing my screen. As you can see, I am also, you know, I am already on the competitions page, but you could have come here by either clicking on challenges and then respective challenge that you're going to going for. So if I'm going for a Avishkar Makeathon, I come here, then my competitions, I see the two competitions I'm participating in. So if I go into Avishkar Makeathon 2022, Mission Planet, the details, if I go to stage one, this is where the submission will happen. So these are the three chapters that Mukul sir mentioned. Now, if I want to submit a project, I click here and you can see, I can start adding details, submission for uh, whatever you want to write, but there's a specific method in which you have to write it down. But let's assume I'm writing makeathon one, two, three and description here. That's how, you know, you add images, add cover image, uh, so I can do it from my computer or you have to add video. The video can be uploaded directly here or, or you can add a video directly up here or you can add a video as a YouTube link as well. Once you have done that, then you can move on to the next step. So that's uh, all about, uh, you know, um, adding project on your, on your uh, Avishkar Makeathon page. Now, uh, my turn was to talk about IRC leak problem statement, but there is one question I want, two questions I wanted to answer. One question was, I have registered for senior level arena. Um, so that's a, by mistake. So I need to do it differently. In this scenario, I would like you to write an email to support at avishka.cc. Mukul sir, can you please write that in the, uh, in the comment box on the YouTube chat itself uh, so that we can probably showcase uh, you know, if you have done something invariably, some things can be fixed, other things will not be able to fix. Uh, so, but it, this seems like a fixable problem. So write an email to support at avishka.cc. Uh, if you have mistakenly done it for a different problem, you know, age, age group. By, by the way, do remember during the competition, during the actual submission, we will be asking for age groups. So don't do it uh, incorrectly knowingly. All right. Uh, now, uh, the next question was basically, how do we, you know, what are the problem statements? And I will also repeat the problem statements for IRC leak are also mentioned here. If you go to this page, uh, you will see the problem statements here. So you have categories. There is view problem statement for grade three to eight and uh, view problem statement for nine to 12 and then theme and submission guidelines. So let me show you the uh, submission guidelines for the scoring guidelines. The judgment, judgment criteria. Mukul sir, can you see the scoring guideline? Uh, yes, sir, I can see. The judgment criteria. In under Do you have the uh, latest one? I think this is not uh, updated one. I can provide that. Okay. So maybe you can provide me the... Do you want to... Uh, I can share the screen. I can share the screen. Sure. I have one copy locally with me. So what you are saying is that the latest one is not updated online. I think this is loading the previous one only. Yeah. We'll get that changed. So there is a question by Ishan Singh. Video submission is only for Makeathon and not required for IRC League. That's correct. The video submission is only for Makeathon, not for IRC League. Ishan Singh, I repeat, the video submission is only for Makeathon and not for IRC League. So, uh, Himak Joshi, Himak Joshi is still asking, well, you know, how do we participate in virtual rounds? So, maybe Mukul sir, I can showcase that part while you are getting the latest problem yeah. statement out. I think I have the latest problem statement on my computer, but why don't you take the time and, you know, uh, and figure that out on your system? Okay. Sure. So you can see my, uh, you can see my screen, right? Yes, sir, I can see your screen. I yeah. see it. Yeah. I'm going again back to the IRC league problem statement. So I am registered for the senior level problem statement here. So you will be able to, I'll be able to showcase only senior level problem statement right now, but I'll showcase the senior level, uh, the middle and junior level problem statement uh, in a little while. 
So if I am on stage one, if I have registered, you will see this kind of a virtual submission thing. So these are different courses to help you solve the problem. And when I click on the virtual submission, here, that's how you get the arena. And the last code is still, which is what I you know had written earlier. So I can probably drag and drop that and close it all together. So Mukul sir, can you see? Yes, sir, I can see. Okay, fantastic. So again, to repeat, uh, you know, you got the you got access to the problem statement arena by going to your competition, go to details, then go to stage one. And within stage one, the last submission, virtual submission as it is written is here. Once you click that, the problem statement or the virtual problem statement will open up for you. You have a couple of links there, save program and submit program. Only the competition or a team captain will be able to do it. Um, Mukul sir, can you uh, now talk about the scoring? I'll stop sure. the screen. I will just share my screen and then Okay, so uh, yes, sir, I have shared the screen. Do you want to talk, me to talk or? Uh... Uh, you can do it as well. I'm happy to do it as well. So why don't you do it sure. if, you, if you're comfortable? Okay, so everyone, uh, currently we are looking at the judgment criteria and the submission criteria. So you can see these are the submission guidelines of IRC League, how you need to make the submission, what kind of submission you need to make, by when you can make the submission and uh, uh, what are the different uh, variabilities and interpretation, what you need to understand about it, okay? So I'm quick, I will quickly go through it. IRC participants will have to do only one submission in stage one. That is only the virtual submission, which uh, Tarun sir already showed you. There is no video round. There is no video submission in IRC league. So you have to do only one virtual submission and that is all, already written over here, virtual arena submission. Submission has already started from 10th of November and it will open till uh, 10th of November 2022. Okay. Uh, I guess December. It should be uh, December. It will be open till December 17th, December 2022. Now, uh, these are some uh, details about the submission. Problem statement text means exactly only what it says. So, take it literally. There is no, uh, uh, this This is only an assumption how it will look like in real life. And all uh, there are no hidden requirements or restriction. If you have read everything, then you know everything. So please do carefully read the, uh, carefully read the documents. We'll get it uploaded, uh, updated as soon as possible. There are also few things which you need to make sure uh, uh, to make the online submission. As you program and simulate the behavior and uh, at times may vary based on computer machine and current performance. So be uh, aware that you need a good machine, good laptop, good computer. Uh, you cannot make the submission uh, on uh, on a tab or a phone. Please don't try anything like that. Try only with a computer and a laptop. It could be a Mac system. It could be a Windows system. And uh, you need a good online, uh, good internet performance. So your internet should be working at, at every time at this time of submission. Okay, so whenever you are making the submission, your internet should be good. Uh, and the last for submission participants would require a computer, laptop, preferably Windows or Mac with the 8 GB RAM. Okay. So these are few submission guidelines for you. Now let us talk about the judgment criteria. So judgment criteria, there are few points. There are few uh, things which we uh, know as, which we call as deviations. The deviations are robot must not deviate from the line collide with any buildings or hit any of the walls. So let's say you have programmed your robot and it has gone out of the line and collided into a wall, the boundary of the thing. That will be considered as a deviation and the time will not stop for that. All the props and the bot robot will automatically return to their start position. Okay, so let's say if you have started your robot and one minute has been, it's, it's over one minute, and your robot is now deviates from the line. So everything will come back to its start position, including the robot and the time will not reset. So you will have to do it in, uh, in lesser time now. Okay. So make sure your robot should not get deviated. Now scoring is based on maximum item picked following a minimum minimal path. Okay.
okay so in uh, let's say in uh, junior level you have to pick few blocks there are 10 blocks uh, and you have to place them in their respond uh, corresponding areas respective areas the first task the automatic robot the robot one will push them into the warehouse and then from warehouse you have to collect them from with the help of a manual robot the robot number two and drop them in their respective areas so if if you have drop them in the respective areas accordingly to the cal calculations you can see you will get 100 points for each of the prop this is for junior level okay you will list there are 10 blocks so you will receive 1000 points for 10 blocks and if your manual robot and uh, manual robot can be anywhere in the green green area the grass area if your uh, if if your uh, uh, programmable robot the line follower robot has reached to the end position to the finish area of the line it will receive 200 points okay so the total points here is 1000 for 10 blocks or 10 props or 10 vaccine packages and 200 for the bot to reach its end position so this is 1200 points also if you will complete your task under 7 minutes you will get 100 points okay that means uh, basically, uh, the ball, uh, if you have completed it under, you can see the maximum bonus is 100 points. In case the whole task is completed within 5 minutes, 59 seconds, and minimum bonus will be 20 points if the whole task is completed within 6 minutes, 59 seconds. Okay, so even if you do it 1 second before 7 minutes, you will get some bonus points. Okay, and if you have ample time, if you have completed it, let's say in under 4 minutes or 3 minutes, you will receive total 100 points as a bonus okay so the scoring will be 1300 points including the bonus 1200 uh, which will uh, divide down into the 1000 for props and 200 for uh, the bot to reach its end position so this was about the virtual round submission of the scoring scheme of the junior level i will also be looking at the comments so if you have any comments about junior level scoring scheme do write down i will now move on to the senior level so senior level, in senior level, there is only one robot. There is there are no two robots. In any situation, the uh, in any situation of uh, deviation, the robot will again start come back to the start position. And in case of restart, the school scores will reset, and you will have to earn them again. The time will not reset. Okay, the time kept running. Then the scoring. So you can see there are three scorings and plus the bonus. Let us uh, uh, finally learn about this one bot has returned to the end position let's say your run is complete and bot has returned to the end position reach the end position you will receive 200 points or and there are two social bubbles with uh, or different blocks different colored blocks if each of the social bubble has block uh, there are four blocks and uh, there are total eight blocks four blocks for each social bubble and the uh, block should have or the or the people uh, if you consider them as people the people should have a six feet distance within each, uh, with each other between each other okay so let's say you have four in one social bubble and four in two second uh, social bubble so we'll receive 500 500 points for both of them and 200 as the bot returned to end position so th again this comes to 1200 plus the 100 point bonus as i already explained to you if you have completed it under time you will receive 100 points as bonus okay so in senior level there are four blocks in one social bubble and four blocks in another social bubble they all should be of uh, different colors and at a distance of 6 feet so if you have placed them correctly you will automatically get 125 points for each block that will automatically make it up 500 uh, 500 points for one social bubble and 500 points for second social bubble. So 1000 points for two social bubbles and 200 points for the bot to reach its end position. Okay. So these were the scoring schemes of uh, the IRC level. Okay. Uh, do you have any question uh, regarding this? I can read down, read out the comments. Mukul, I think we are now, you know, the time is almost over. There were two questions. I can actually let you know the questions. One question is for you, uh, which is basically, you know, uh, this question is from Sohan Ghosh. He says, is there a has to be, does there, does it need to be a certain capacity of video, uh, you know, in terms of how many kilobytes, megabytes storage capacity 
or the video which can be uploaded i think uh, yeah so please answer okay so the uh, total limit is uh, i guess around 1 gb to 2 gb so you don't need to worry about because that's a lot of amount which you can upload we have already set it but yes if your video is very large like 15 gb 20 12 gb it will automatically get you will get an error on the video uploading uh, platform uh, avishkar platform so make it crisp you can use a compressor video compressor there are a lot of video compressor online so you can uh, just uh, compress it and upload it there. or you can upload it to youtube and then share the link add the link into the video uh, submission now so the other question that people have asked is how do you control the manual robot so you use keyboard strokes to control the manual robot uh, if you you know there is by the way a lot of this information is also available as a part of the virtual courses which are there so if i can just quickly i'll mukul uh, sir i can i show quickly uh, the 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 hint videos that we have so that people have yeah. an idea you know so of course we will be publishing this particular uh, webinar also on our on the dashboard but still for your reference if you uh, if you can see my screen i am on the irc league and if i go to my competitions and i open up my competitions irc league uh, i look at stage 1 you will see introduction to the virtual simulator so if i go to the virtual simulator video Uh, learn how about middle level irc arena and how to solve it so middle level irc arena you can see here you will be able to see what the hints are hi there my name is tarun i am from avishkar most likely you are watching this video because either you are participating in the irc or the robotics competition of avishkar league 2020 or you are taking one of the irc course or one of the avishkar courses So let's just quickly jump into how to solve this particular problem. So you Check will be able to see the video here, here, and I think first of all, let me welcome you to this great. particular virtual uh, and arena will be or the development uh, environment. We'll be having more other sessions. This, this particular this, development environment uh, is divided into four parts. For just just give me one minute. Admin part, which is essentially. So we'll be having more, uh, you know, webinars after this. We'll be sending some videos as well, and all of that information will be. uploaded on your dashboard which is there on my avishkar we would request you to go and check out the dashboard every now and then i think next week probably we'll upload more things maybe this webinar will be uploaded there and uh, there are also some courses which are available there for you to test out and i think uh, already we have crossed the webinar time by 6 minutes and uh, we don't want to keep you uh, on hold on this thank you mukul thank you everyone for coming and participating thank you anvi for all the background support and as mukul sir and i will write there in the chat window only support@avishkar.cc write your email to support@avishkar.cc so that we can probably try to help you out apart from this webinar as well thank you very much mukul sir you want to say something uh thank you everyone thank you for joining in again you can any time reach out to our support email we have already re uh, write down something or you can just uh, uh, join these webinars or if you are in touch of some of the mentors some of the uh, trainers from avishkar you can uh, uh, you can proceed to them uh, with your doubt and they'll surely help you thank you bye bye thank you everyone bye bye